the previous video, we reviewed four historically significant light cavalry units. This issue continues to introduce heavy cavalry units and their roles in battle. Heavy cavalry was a class of cavalry intended to deliver a battlefield charge, and also to act as a tactical reserve. They are also often termed shock cavalry. Although their equipment differed greatly depending on the region and historical period, heavy cavalry was generally mounted on large powerful warhorses, war body armor, and was armed with either lances, swords, maces, battle axes, or war hammers. Their mounts may also have been protected by barding. They were distinct from light cavalry, who were intended for scouting, screening, and skirmishing. The Mongol Heavy Cavalry, also known as the Mongol Armored Cavalry, was a highly effective military force that played a key role in the success of the Mongol Empire. The Mongol Cavalry relied on a breed of horses known as the Mongol Horse, which was small but sturdy and had exceptional endurance. These horses were able to travel long distances without rest and could survive on very little food and water. The Mongol Heavy Cavalry was composed of heavily armored soldiers who rode on horseback, wielding weapons such as lances, swords, and bows. One of the most distinctive features of the Mongol Heavy Cavalry was their use of composite bows, which were designed to be used while riding on horseback. These bows were made from layers of different materials, such as wood, animal sinew, and horn, and were capable of firing arrows with great accuracy and power. Mongol warriors were highly skilled archers, and they could fire multiple arrows while riding at full speed, giving them a significant advantage in battle. In addition to their bows, the Mongol heavy cavalry was also equipped with lances and swords. The lances were used for charging into battle, while the swords were used in close combat. The Mongol Heavy Cavalry was also known for their use of the Mongol Saber, a curved sword that was highly effective for slashing and cutting. The armor of the Mongol Heavy Cavalry was also a key component of their success. They wore a combination of scale armor, lamellar armor, and leather armor, which protected them from enemy attacks. The armor was also designed to be flexible, allowing the riders to move and fight with ease while on horseback. Genghis Khan, the founder and first emperor of the Mongol Empire, who was a skilled horseman and archer himself, and he led his troops by personal example. He was known to charge into battle at the head of his cavalry, inspiring his troops to follow his lead. The Mongol heavy cavalry, as a whole, was a highly effective military force that was crucial to the growth and prosperity of the Mongol Empire. The Knights Templar was founded in 1119 by Hugues de Pion and a group of French knights, with the purpose of protecting Christian pilgrims on their way to the Holy Land. They also engaged in military campaigns against Muslim forces, and played a key role in the Crusades. The order grew in power and wealth over the centuries, becoming one of the most powerful and influential institutions in medieval Europe. The Knights Templar were skilled in various forms of medieval warfare, including siege warfare, cavalry charges, and infantry combat. They were known for their disciplined and organized approach to battle, and often employed tactics such as the hammer and anvil maneuver, in which they would use their heavy cavalry to charge the enemy's front lines, while their foot soldiers would attack from the sides. The Knights Templar wore a full suit of plate armor that covered their entire body. The armor was made of interlocking plates of metal, and included a helmet, chest plate, shoulder guards, arm guards, leg guards, and boots. The armor provided excellent protection from weapons such as swords, axes, and spears. The Knights Templar carried a range of weapons, including a sword, lance, mace, and shield. The sword was the primary weapon of the knight and was used for both cutting and thrusting. 
The lance was a long spear that was used for cavalry charges, and the mace was a heavy club with metal spikes that was used for crushing armor. The shield was used for protection and often bore the emblem of the knight or the order. The Knights Templar were known for their use of powerful warhorses that were bred specifically for the demands of medieval warfare. These horses were trained to charge into battle and were also armored, with a protective covering for their head, neck, and body. Destrier and Courser are the most commonly used types of horses by the Knight Templar. Many well-known scholars speculated on the nature of Destriers, which were thought to be Andalusian horses and Frisian horses. In addition to their armor and weapons, the Knights Templar carried a range of other equipment, such as a saddle, stirrups, and reins for their horse, as well as a water flask, food, and other supplies. In addition to their military training and skills, the Knights Templars were motivated by a strong sense of spiritual devotion to their cause. They believed that they were fighting to protect Christianity and the Holy Land from Muslim forces, and saw their military service as a way to serve God. Overall, the Knights Templar were skilled and dedicated fighters, and their military prowess was a key factor in their success as an institution. Their disciplined and organized approach to battle, along with their training, armor, and weapons, made them a formidable force in medieval warfare. Thank you for watching. The Mongol Cavalry and the Knight Templar are two of history's greatest cavalry units. Which do you believe ranks first? Please leave your comment. Don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed our video. See you in the next one.